so here we have just used the custom styles inside the tailwind css and there you can see we have just used the layer directive and inside the layer we have just used the base we are customizing the base and inside the base styles we are customizing the h5 tag and inside the h5 tag we have just used the apply to apply some of the classes of the tailwind and we are using the underline like this so what this will do so this will just apply the underlying text into the h5 property of our application and inside the base and there you can see we have the utilities as well if you we want to apply some custom utility classes then we can use like this we have the font cursive then we can use the font family like this so when we will use this class inside anywhere of our application like this we have the font cursive so this font family would be then applied to this so that's how the customization work but this was the first way of customization inside the tailwind like how you can customize the styles inside the tailwind so this was the first option so there are two more options available so the second option in which you can just customize the css you can head over to the documentation as well to see all about that so you can move on you can just customize the tailwind theme so you have the theme of the tailwind and it is defined inside this like if you move on to the tailwind config file so inside the tailwind config file you have the theme so here you have the content and there you can see here you have the theme and inside the theme you can extend your own theme as well. So here you can see here we have just used the h5 tag we have just used the apply underline. So what you can do so you can just remove that from here or either you can comment that from here and then you can move on into the tailwind. You can just customize or you can just extend the theme as well like this. So if you want to provide the custom font family like this so you can have the font family like this and there what you can do inside that so you can use here the different value like if you want to use the cursive like this so you can have the cursive then what you can do so inside that you can just provide an array of the values so you can have the cursive or you can add another font as well like you can have the sense like if the cursive is not available then you can use the sense so what it will do or what it is doing so it is extending the font family of the internal tailwind so if you move on to the page so this style will not work as of now the font cursive so we can say we can move on to the local host 3000 so here we have the page so if we move on into the page component like we have the font sense serif and the mono so here you can see after applying the cursive now we have another option inside the font to define a custom font family so you can see earlier we only had three options the sans serif and the mono but now we can see now we have the cursive as well but inside that you can see if you will just hover over this class so if I will hover, then you can see now we have the font family of the cursive and the sans. And same thing that we have defined inside the extend. So that's how it works. So you can see we have just defined the value for the cursive. We can define another value as well. You can use the fantasy as well like this. So you can use fantasy. And you can use the fantasy style like this. So you can remove this. You can use the fantasy. And if you just save, if you again move on to the page file, you can use the font fantasy as well. So you can see that's how this works. So that's how you can just extend the custom styles into the Tailwind CSS, into the internal Tailwind CSS, and that would be converted into a utility class, the extended utility class. So if we just save, if we move on to the application, so here you can see now we have the fantasy font over there. So you can see it is working perfectly fine. So here we have the fantasy. We can remove this and then we can use the cursive as well. So you can see now we have the cursive font over there and it is working perfectly fine. You can use a different font family for the activities as well. So you can have the font like this. So you can have the font. You can use the cursive or fantasy like this. So you can see that's how this works inside the Tailwind. And that's how you can just customize the Tailwind theme inside your application.